while I'm waiting and finish for my recipe for the main course, I thought I'm going to make something simple and easy dessert that using an Asian ingredients. So, my main ingredients with this simple recipe with coconut, pandan, you can use, if you have a fresh pandan leaves, it's even better. I have um, pandan liquid, as I can't get any fresh pandan, pandan fresh in here in Europe. So I'm using a liquid pandan and moringa, gelatin, milk, fresh milk, cream, and of course, I'm using a brown sugar. I prefer brown sugar than white sugar. The reason of is because it's healthier. So I find it healthier. So I made this dessert before and I think I like it personally. So I thought I would like to share with you. Coconut. So let's get started. First, what you need to do is cut this coconut, put aside the liquid, cut it off and put into a food processor. Then make it, squeeze it, and then you can have those fresh coconut creamy. So use that, we make into a coconut and pandan with moringa powder, nakota, okay? My Asian version of panna cotta. Instead of Italian, I'm doing Asian way. So let's get started. One cup of the fresh coconut. Twenty cl of um, cream. You put it. Pandan liquid or fresh pandan, you chop it up and then put into the cream for flavor. About four teaspoons. Then you put the moringa. Moringa powder, by the way. This one. Milk. About one cup of milk. So it goes like this and simmer that. Don't boil the panna cotta. Making panna cotta, you never boil them. So simmer that until it's warm, gently. Put brown sugar. About Four spoon of brown sugar. Then whisk it like this. So you can see, they start getting. Don't boil them. Just simmer. Then. As long as it's warm enough, the milk and cream and the flavor of pandan and moringa powder in there. I'm putting the moringa powder because of the color. I want it to be look green. So, 
and the sugar is dissolved the brown sugar now put we take it off from the heat now it's finished simmering simmer for about five to ten minutes then that's it take it off from the heat then we put our gelatin on make sure the gelatin it's soaked in the warm water by the way you warm it, you soak it in a warm water then you put the gelatin into this cream and milk and into this mixture then you put the gelatin in and that's it out of the pie this overnight if you need the next day you can prepare it overnight and then ready to serve for dessert put the gelatin on in it's done so what i did is i make the night before so the, or the day before so it's you can put after you prepare that you pour it into this glass and then or any glass you prepare put into the fridge for about 30 minutes in the freezer if you need them to serve straight away 30 minutes before in the freezer my opinion to do it like the day before or overnight you can make it the day before put it overnight and then ready for the next day so yeah for about 30 minutes in the freezer or three hours in the fridge it should be ready so I did make the night before or the day before then this is how it turned up. So now I'm going to make some sauce on top. So I prepared chocolate. So this is a coconut pandan and chocolate panna cotta. So yeah, for the top of the panna cotta with the pandan and coconut panna cotta. Now 100% cacao for 100 grams melt it we're making sauce for the top put some cream on it Now, after we put the cream, that's how it looks like. There you go. And this is ready to serve into the top of your pandan and coconut panna cotta. There you go. Now, as you can see, our sauce is ready. We pour it into a um, panna pandan and coconut with moringa powder panna cotta as you can see I'm pouring in very good have a look my panna cotta, my coconut and pandan panna cotta with chocolate sauce. So, there you go. Very simple, but very, very tasty. My version of Asian panna cotta. This one, then ready to serve. My delicious coconut and pandan with moringa powder with chocolate sauce on top panna cotta my asian version of panna cotta so i hope you guys enjoy my video and my recipe please comment and subscribe share and see you soon bye